Good morning, Greater Lake Trobe. From the WCAT-TV studio, I'm Zoe Favada alongside Emma Yurick. Coming up in today's show, two summer programs are available to students. Reporter Mia Klasnick highlights a student athlete, and the next job fair is on Tuesday. All this and more on your WCAT-TV news. A link to the Senior High Student Council representative application has been sent to all student email addresses. If you are interested in representing your class and serving as a Senior High Student Council representative for the 2023-2024 school year, please submit the digital application and printed petition by 2.55 p.m. on May 4th. This year's annual Next Job Fair will be taking place on Tuesday, May 2nd in the main gym. All students in grades 9 through 12 will be attending. Teachers will escort their classes down at their scheduled time. Students will have the opportunity to interact with businesses, organizations, colleges, and trade schools. The more tables you visit, the more raffle tickets you will earn for a chance to win prizes. Food trucks will also be parked outside for students to purchase them during Lunch and Learn. They accept cash and cards. Lynn's Frank's Elegant Catering and McFeely's Ice Cream Truck will be attending. Let's get a check on the weather. We go to Lily Haverly for your three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Friday, April 28th, and here is your three-day forecast. Today is expected to have some heavy rain with a high of 56 and a low of 49. Tomorrow we can expect scattered showers with a high of 63 and a low of 49. And finally, this Sunday will be rainy with a high of 60 and a low of 40. That's all for your three-day forecast. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Lily. Attention juniors, on May 3rd and 4th, Timeless Photography will be in the Commons area during Lunch and Learn with information about senior pictures for the 2024 yearbook. Please stop by the table and pick up information that will contain everything you need to know about your senior yearbook photos. Attention seniors, anyone who had Dr. Baum for introduction to career pathways in 7th grade, it is time to pick up the career and personality collages that you made the first few days of class. She has enjoyed looking at them and remembering all the seniors as they were back then. Stop by her room, H104, to pick up your collage and say hi. She can't wait to see you. The Westmoreland County Coaches Association raises funds for their annual county championship event in order to provide scholarships to athletes from Westmoreland County. The WCCA expects to award seven to nine scholarships ranging in value from $500 up to $2,000. See Mr. Simpson for information and for an application. The deadline for submission is May 1st. We go to Jacob Kramer for the Wildcat Sports Report. Good morning, Wildcats. Today, your varsity boys lacrosse team has a home game against Upper St. Clair at 7.30 p.m. Congratulations to the Letterman's Club Athlete of the Week, senior Hayden Kranick. She was a major contributor in two recent Wildcat victories. Hayden went 3 for 4 in the victory against Franklin Regional, including two home runs. In the win over Kiskey, Hayden was 4 for 5, including another home run and tallied six RBIs. For the two games, she was 7 for 9 with three home runs, two doubles, and 11 RBIs. Congratulations, Hayden. In national sports news in the MLB, there are 11 games. Headlining the night is the Pirates in Washington, D.C. against the Nationals at 6.05 p.m. In the NHL, there are four playoff games. Headlining the night is the Colorado Avalanche in Seattle versus the Kraken at 9 p.m. Finally, in the NBA, there are two games. Headlining the night is the Grizzlies in L.A. versus the Lakers at 9.30. That's all for sports news. Thanks and back to you. Attention all male students ages 17 and older. Camp Cranium, located in Millville, PA, is looking for camp counselors for their June 11th through 16th camp experience. Counselors will assist the campers with a variety of activities, including sports, crafts, nature exploration, and meals. All campers have been diagnosed with some level of brain injury and need help from their counselor to get the most out of their camp experience. Camp Cranium is an excellent opportunity for any student interested in a career in education, sports management, social services, or medicine. For more information, visit www.campcranium.org or check out the flyer in the guidance office. The 2023 Leadership Westmoreland Youth Academy is a five-day leadership development program offered June 19th through the 23rd. It is designed to introduce students to leadership concepts that provide interaction with local business, government, and community leaders. Participants should be sophomores, juniors, and seniors in September with a GPA of at least 2.5. Today is the deadline to complete the application and submit the requested documents. Please email Ms. Yetter for a link to the application. Broadcast and Video Production 2 students have created one-minute documentaries based on the 60-second doc series. Here is a video created by Ramaya Henderson. 
Hello, my name is Selena Chen, and my family owns China Garden in downtown Lake Trobe, uh, Sichuan Garden in downtown Greensburg, and also Tokyo Sushi Nobachi in the Giant Eagle Plaza in Lake Trobe. I contribute to this restaurant by uh, helping out at the front, either like doing the waitress job or doing cashier, taking phone calls, and at sometimes I would file all the legal documents as well. So the benefits of being a part of a family-owned business, we get free food, honestly. <laughs> free meals, um, I always get like real nice food. So there isn't really a like a schedule that I form whenever I try to balance school and um, working at the restaurant, but if I'm at school, School, I try to finish everything up before going to um, work, which is usually after, right after school and helping out my parents. So, to me at least, um, it feels like I have a sense of belonging. I mix my identity with um, this new, obviously, culture of American culture, and then uh, mix my Chinese identity with it by being um, part of and working as a part of my family's restaurant. Some of the challenges we have right now is that we're really short-staffed. So if anyone wants to come work at um, either at China Garden Tokyo or Sichuan Garden, um, that would be really great. We need waitresses and cashiers. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's Taryn Yitzi with What's Cooking. What's Cooking Late Trobe? Today is Friday, April 28th. Today in the main line, they have a walking taco with sour cream and shredded lettuce with sweet corn. The sandwich options are hamburger, cheeseburger, and chicken patty. The pizza options are homemade cheese and pepperoni pizza. The Grandma Go Bar has fresh salads and deli hoagies. The soup of the day is chicken dumpling. That's what's cooking. Thanks and back to you. And now here is a look at someone who is striving to become a valedictorian while also excelling on the soccer field. Here is reporter Mia Klasnick with today's student spotlight. Maddie Petruzzi is a dedicated student athlete. With a 4.2 GPA, she is focused on her academic studies while balancing her time playing soccer for the club team Beedling, our school soccer team, and our track and field team. By playing on varsity teams, Maddie has gained some valuable life experiences. It helped me become more of a social person, which is something that I've definitely struggled with in the past. Um, it definitely helped me to be a better leader, like just to be there for your teammates whenever they need you. and like trying to help pick them up whenever they're having a bad day and like being able to rely on them to do the same for you like it's definitely a team sport and I think that really helps you especially like later in life. Being on the soccer team has helped Maddie get out of her shell. Being a part of the soccer team and playing soccer has been a part of Maddie's life ever since she was little. I'd say my dad probably inspired me to play soccer because whenever he was younger he played and that's just it's just something that I kept doing when I was younger so I kind of I just stuck with it. Maddie's taking many classes to push her academics this year. I really like the idea of biochem and molecular biology right now. Maddie is always busy. If she's not at soccer, she's trying to get her work done for classes. When I'm not at soccer, I'm usually getting homework done. Um, I do my best not to procrastinate too much, but like, I do do it. <laughs> Everything still gets done, so it's okay. Maddie plans to study molecular biology and hopes to play soccer in college. The capstone program went on an environmental challenge on board the Rivers of Steel educational boat in order to determine the health and water quality of the Ohio River in Pittsburgh. Stations include water quality testing with chemical kits, river bottom sampling, and macroinvertebrate identification, plankton surveys, bird watching, microscopes, and more. All indicators point towards the Ohio River increasing in health as long as the conser conservation efforts continue. No students were lost overboard. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great daily trope. We are GL. Go Wildcats!